it's daniella i'm back and thank you so much for being here if you are new i'm not gonna tell you what to do you can do what you want you can subscribe comment like or share but thank you guys so much for being here and today as you can tell by the title we're doing something very different it's not a story time it involves my lips and i'm gonna show you the secrets the ins and outs of how i achieve my lip colors trust me they're very similar but I just love how I do it and apparently you guys do too because I get this question asked so many times how do I do my lip colors my lip combos and I'm gonna share pretty much all my secrets today so if you want to learn how to do it just keep on watching <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my secrets and first we're gonna start off with moisturizing now I do exfoliate my lips at least once a week um, unless my lips are really dry and peeling, I do go ahead and exfoliate like as often as I need to. But I'm going to show you guys some little chapsticks that I use right after that. Um, I use Blistex Medicaid Lip Balm SPF 15. Now, I believe that this um, chapstick is for like if you seriously, seriously like needed if your lips are like cutting or something um i use this every single day it's very thick and i like it better than just like your average chapstick so what i do is i just apply it now this is every single time before i do my lip routine now if my lips are a little bit more dry i will use this it's a sample be calm lip save i've been using it it's by beauty it's beauty by pop sugar this is what it looks like um i was at ulta about a month or so ago two months ago maybe and the cashier she gave me a bunch of samples and she put this in there and i was like oh my god i guess i'll try this out and it works great for um, when your lips are extra chapped. So moving on, um, what I start with is liner. Now liner is the biggest thing for me. So this is my liner collection pretty much. I have a few more, but I don't use them that often. Um, I don't really even use red often either. That's why there's only one in here. But if you notice something about all of these shades, oh, I'm gonna take this red out too. If you notice something about all of these shades, they are all within a similar color and a similar color palette. Um, I will go over color palettes with you guys in a different video, but um, yeah, these are the shades. And you're never gonna believe this, but I don't use expensive, like high-end makeup. I am just a firm believer in going to Walgreens and or Walmart or Target and buying like Maybelline and stuff like that. You guys are gonna be very surprised by the brands that I use. So um, let me just go over some of the, the lip colors that I have. This one is Maybelline and it's in the number 05 Rose. Now this color comes off a little bit more pinky on my lips, let me give you guys like an idea. Like dark pinkish, I don't know why it's not coming up on camera, but it does look that way. Or, um, I mean, not pinky, a little bit purple, which I don't like in my liner, but I use that just not as often. And then this one I'm using in Maybelline. This is by their Color Sensational, um, number 123 magnet mauve now i'll put this over there on the side so you can see see how they're all kind of similar maybe we could just give you guys a swatch see that's how that comes off now let me go ahead and just swatch the other ones that's how that comes off I know it like broke a little bit, but I mean, you can see how often I use it. Maybe I'm gonna use this color to really show you guys. This one is Remy Rose um, Lip Liner Katie. And this is what it looks like. It, set, it shows that, but it, this is the color that comes off and I just love it. See how it's not really 
it's a lot lighter. Now this liner, you're going to be really shocked about where I got this from. So I want to say like four months ago, like January, maybe that was probably like five, six months ago. Um, I was at the 99 cent only and which I don't go very often, but they do have some good items. And I saw that they had this, um, this lip collection. I have a lipstick somewhere that matches this one. And this is so funny. It's in the shade Anna and Anna is my mom's first name. It's crazy. And this is my favorite liner of all time. It's so creamy. Like, look at that. It's so creamy. I just don't know what it is. And I haven't been, I haven't been back at all. And I just love it. It does my lip, lips wonder. I just, I don't know, but I love it. But that was for a dollar. <laughs> it was awesome. So this one is by Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade, they don't have the shade, 06 under my skin. And it looks like that. This one's okay. Um, it's a little too bright pink for me. Um, I don't use it too often, but um, definitely since it's summer, I will be using that shade. And this one is NYX. Probably should show you guys what it looks like. NYX Professional Makeup in the color 02 Bed Rose. And this one is also just a little too bright pink for me. It just doesn't like that's it does not look like that. So that's where I get, it's a little bit brighter, but whatever. The next shade that I use is Maybelline Shaping Liner in 130 Dusty Rose. So that's what it looks like. Um, This one also too can be a little bright on me. It's not my favorite, but I like to stay around that color range. Closer to my lip color and these, this is my natural lip color. It's that's the shade of my lips. Um, NYX Suede. So this is from their Suede Collection. Matte Lip Liner in the shade 22 Wit Caviar. Caviar. Um, this one's a little too purple for me. It really comes off purple. I don't know why it doesn't look like that on the camera, but in person it does. And I just, it's not my favorite, but I do use it every so often. Um, I got this color in Sephora. I mean, this, the, this is Sephora. And this is literally how it comes. It's small like this. I think I got it for like four bucks or something. Um, this is number 11 Rose. And let me tell you, I get so many compliments on this lip shade. I just don't know what it is, but this lip shade, when I use it and I mix it like with a darker lipstick or something, People go crazy. You guys are like, oh my God, I love it. There's a video that's out there on my Instagram. Insane. You guys are like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Even my best friend complimented me on my lips. And my best friend, you know who you are, boo, my number one. She's always dogging me on everything. Not in a bad way, but in a, in a good way. But she's, she just wants me, to be, wants me to be the a better me every single time. But when I wore that, she was like, girl, I don't know what it is. But she was like, it's so pretty. So this one is Maybelline, so you can tell I use this one a lot as well. In the shade 25 color toast. I love the shade. This shade is very, it's within that range. And I don't know, um, I just, I love the shade. This is also a shade too that I use very often. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you the difference between these two because these are both by Maybelline and these are like the cheapest. These are like three, four bucks, I believe from Walmart. Um, Walgreens is like too expensive, but I have to show you my lipsticks that I use mainly. I can't find the other lipstick that matches with the Anna um, lip liner, but this is a new lipstick I recently got. It's in the color Buff. It's a matte lipstick by Anastasia of Beverly Hills like amazing i got it for eight bucks at like tj maxx so pretty and this is what it looks like can you imagine it mixed with like something a little bit more less pink it's amazing um this is my like ride and die as you can tell it has traveled the world with me i actually like bought one i actually bought another one not knowing it was the same color. This is by e.l.f. in the color Touch of Pink. 
and yeah elf gives you a lot of product and i have used this one up so much and i do mix this i like I'll, I'll get a darker liner and fill in my lips and then i will go over this a little bit and then i'm good to go my favorite lip gloss at the moment is by wet and wild i believe this was like 2.99 3.99 um this is cruelty free and this is in the color aquarius in which i was born in february um but it's not my sign apparently my sign is pisces but whatever and it smells i like the smell of it and it has a hint of like gold shimmer i love putting this over a dark lip i don't know it just it doesn't come off that way but let me just show you guys we're gonna go into how i do it now i'm going to start with um a liner and i'm gonna i'm starting with i'm gonna do two lip combos for you guys this is number 25 toast by maybelline this is what it looks like everything's like all rubbed off pretty much but um yeah so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna line my lips and then go on the inside Now, if you notice, I stay on my line. I don't go off just because I already naturally have like plump lips that I don't really need to overline at all. But yeah, I'm just, there now, following my lip. I may have went over just a little bit. <laughs> Let me grab. Okay, so it's pretty much filled in. Next, what I'll do, um, grab a lipstick. I'm going to grab the Anastasia one in the color Buff. And place it in the middle. And then do a little bit at the top. Sometimes I will go over my, my top liner. And that's literally it and that's the lip color <laughs> that everyone goes crazy about i don't know what it is um i i love this lip combo it's like my everything now let me show you how it looks with the lip gloss over it I'm gonna do very slight, uh, what do you, how would you say, like a very slight coat? Very thin, I don't go in crazy. And that's it. And that combo is the Maybelline uh, lip color number 25, Toast. Anastasia Beverly Hills Buff and Wet and Wild um, Aquarius. And that's literally the shades. Let me show you all together. That's literally the shades that are put together on my lips. And that's what that creates. I love creating my lip color, but better. Just because I'm not a girl who's like, ooh, like green you know i was looking at the plant green <laughs> but um yeah i don't know i really like that lip combo it's like one of my favorite now i'm going to show you a lighter lip combo um i'm going to go ahead and take this lipstick off i'm just using neutrogena makeup remover <laughs> I 
Okay. So now we're going to go in with a lighter lip combo. I think for this lip combo, I'm going to go in with um, this Essence color. And this is in the shade, again, 06 under my skin. Now, normally I just reapply chapstick. And I noticed that with chapstick and I put my liner over it, it lasts like much longer. So I'm basically gonna do the same thing that I did the first time. Then I'm just gonna shade in. There's that. And then I'll go in with Elf. And that's literally that lip. And then sometimes I will go over with lip gloss. I don't do it all the time, you guys notice that. But um, when I do, this is how I do it. And that's it that's literally it for me now if there is a little bit of like like it looks like i put too much i'm just going with the q-tip and take some off okay okay girl that's what literally what i do and you see the shades that i use pretty much um i just feel like You've got to find your tone. All of us have different skin tones and different colors. I'm no beauty guru, but I do love makeup and I have, it's taken me a very long time to really find a lip combination, lip color that I aim towards the absolute most that I'm so comfortable with no matter what the occasion is. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. <laughs> or no, I guess I'll just leave it on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, literally exfoliate once a week. Put chapstick on before you go to bed, after you've brushed your teeth and washed up for the day. Do that and please, please drink water. It's so important. People just don't realize it, but people are always wondering like, oh my God, your lips are just like so pretty and all the time and they look flawless. And that's because the health. When you take care of your lips, and it goes with everything else. When you take care of things especially like your lips your makeup is going to apply so much better everything's going to look so good so yes thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time